If you are looking to sell digital content on your websites and marketing e-commerce site, then you are in the right place. I'm Emma and this is my friend Darlene and we're gonna show you how to do just that. But before we dive into the tool, Emma, can you share some ideas of digital content and how it can be used? Sure, darling. As more and more businesses are thinking of new and innovative ways to offer services and goods to their customers during the COVID-19 pandemic, adding digital products just makes sense. Here are some of the digital content offerings I've seen in my area. A one, Fitness instructors are offering videos with new exercise routines for their clients. I actually walked by a business the other day and saw them shooting a video like this. Cooking shows or restaurants, they're selling their secret recipes or showing videos with step-by-step -step instructions on how to recreate the magic. Bookstores are offering eBooks. And one of my favorites, musicians or bands are offering audio files of new and existing songs. All of these are great examples, Emma. And I love seeing businesses that I use try new things. And this is a great way to support them during the COVID-19 crisis. Let me show you how to add digital products to your site so customers can start supporting you in new ways. We're gonna start on your website's post marketing dashboard. Choose store and select products. We wanna add a new product, so click add. For the product type, let's choose the video or digital option. Now we need to add the details for our digital product. Let's add a product name and cost, and we'll leave digital products as the tax category. For the categories, let's choose digital sales. If you don't have this category yet, you can choose add to make it. Now let's add an image, which should represent what the digital product is about. Let's scroll down and add a product description. And let's jump over to the downloadable content tab. This is where you upload any files you want your customer to receive after they order the product. Let's add our file. Give it a name and click save. Okay, that's it for adding our digital product. Everything looks good, so let's click Save. A message displays letting us know that we successfully added our product. Let's go check out what it looks like. Click Website. Let's look at our shop page. And scroll down until we see the digital sales category. That looks good. And there you have it. That's how you sell digital content on your site. Thank you so much, Darlene. I hope that all small businesses are thinking of new and creative ways to keep money coming in during these difficult times. And digital content is another way to do just that. That's right, Emma. And as always, thanks for joining me today. Of course, stay safe and stay healthy, Darlene.